Have you noticed that every time there was fuel scarcity in Nigeria, the cost of available fuel increases, transportation fares increases, the cost of food items, goods and services increases. With the current fuel crisis worsened by poor electricity supply, how are Nigerians coping with these harsh realities? Nigerian is facing big trouble, big problem right now. All those the transportation that had more price on their own money. Even even to buy pure water too. They've had money. So things is not going well for those people that for we in Nigeria generally. So it's not it's not it's a very great a great problem for us. The forest scarcity it affects so many things. The standard of life for you to leave your house to go to work, it's hell. To get the fuel is another thing entirely. And this affected all prices. Price, talk of price of anything, full stuff, anything, anything. The price is on the high side. And it has not been easy. It has not been easy at all. Uh, things have not been easy. Because the major source of energy for Nigeria that we can use in order to be productive we cannot do anything without the two basic things electricity and fuel the state of this country is just is 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 going from bad to worse and then to worst i cannot i cannot say the way i've lived in the past eight years is the way i'm living now i i see it like going to worse and everything and with everything going high the cost of things in the market we can't buy food all of that, so it's just, it's just, it's just bad and, and all. The hardship is on, on eyesight. When you look at the first scarcity, it tells on all the items and the social commodities of lives, and which is affecting people to move from one point to the other. Well, I think that has plunged a lot of people into abject poverty, and uh, you will agree with me that there, there is a high level of premature death now. You know, basically because uh, of the situation of, of things on ground, a lot of people have, you know, gone before their time, basically because of the hard, uh, hardship unleashed by, the, by our leaders, by the economy. Uh, it's affecting a lot because people, uh, the first scarcity is affecting the moving of the business. We are not selling the way we are selling uh, before. Before, we see many customers come to us buying something, but now they are queuing in the filling station. They are not be able to come to market to patronize the um, business owner. So it's affecting our business a lot. About the electricity, as you can see, even my phone, I don't have any light on my phone. Then I used to charge at home. I don't used to bring my charger to stop to come and charge because it's risky. Charging phone, they can steal my phone. It's affecting me here. The electricity is affecting very many people that are using power to 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 do their daily activities is affecting them everything is just like it's not is abnormal in nigeria now well i think in the coming election now we should vote a youth a vibrant youth that can see things the way we youth see it the way forward is that either our government or leader are sincere with us and that should be able to find a remedy. I think the remedy now is for them to look into our, uh, our refinery, even if it is one or two. So we want the leaders to sit and come together and find a lasting solution that will help this nation. And I believe if this is done, it will bring massive growth and uh, massive economic uh, growth into the country. I pray God will intervene. To solve the problem, it depends on our leaders because this first scarcity of 18, I don't know, maybe it's something that is, is intentionally done. Because once there is forest scarcity, it's that time that there will be no light to compound the issue. So it's only God that will intervene in the problem of this nation. It's only God. Our government is supposed to find something to do. It's the one that's supposed to help in us. Because they, we, they, are, they are the ones that are being the part of it. So they are supposed to be airports, does it? Thank you.
Uh, I think uh, this is the right time the youth people will come out and uh, speak to the government here. Maybe they can hear yeah, because this is the um, time of election that we come out to come and do the campaign for people now. That we come to come and do the, uh, the, the strategies that I used to do for us to just gain our own uh, heart to vote for them. So we cannot speak to them now. What do you want? What do you, what, 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 what is the thing that you want and you, you can do for us? Like, we should just find someone, uh, some of them that we know that this one have something upstairs to, co to, o to offer for the citizen, to offer for the poor people in the market of uh, Nigeria entirely. So we not just food or any other person. We should find someone that can help us with this kind of situation we find ourselves in Nigeria now, so that everything can come to normal things we know it's supposed to be. So, As a nation, we need to look at the issue of the refinery. It looks quite um, foolish and unwise that a nation like Nigeria that has abundant natural resources, crude oil, you know, we explore here, we export for refining, then we import again. This is a major area where, you know, uh, it's costing us so much. So I think the government needs to look at the refinery. We are promised at the takeoff of this present regime that all this refinery will come alive again. But it's unfortunate that nothing has really happened. So I think for the government, if the refinery can, you know, come up again, you know, if um, Dangote refinery is coming up by private um, ownership, I don't think uh, it should be a big deal for the government to have a functional refinery system that will make the whole production process to be completed here. You explore here, you refine here, and at least we can export ready-made um, process um, for to neighboring countries. And even we ourselves, we have it in abundance. And I believe that by that we achieve that there will be a lot of ease in the present um, level of pressure and hardship being unleashed on the Nigerian masses. Okay, so think about it. What do you think will happen if we have functioning refineries with greater output capacity? What are your thoughts? Until I come your way again next time, I remain AJ Kingsley.